Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video to show you exactly how I organize my curly hair care products. This is my box that I use on a daily basis. It has everything that I need to manage for biracial curly girl hair every single day. Um, this is not exactly my wash day box, but this is what I do to style or refresh or just get my kids out the door during the day. So this box I actually got at a craft store, I think Michael's. Um, they do have it on Amazon, so I'll put the link in the description below. And um, it is Recollections Latchmate with Tray. So this isn't exactly for hair care products, but it is so amazing. I love this box. So let's dive inside and see how I organize and what I use on a daily basis. So you can see it has this handle that I can carry it around and then it's got these two latches on the side to lock it in and it also comes with this tray. So this top tray will go through that and then I'll show you what I have in the bottom of this Tupperware. When we look inside here, it's actually got three little compartments at, on this side and then the bottom side's just one big long row which works amazingly for like brushes, combs, and then hair clips, smaller brushes, and scrunchies. So it's very versatile. There's so many ways that you can arrange this and what works for you, but I just wanna go through the products that I use on a daily basis and I just need at my fingertips. Um, so definitely my easy detangler brush. Now I don't detangle every day, but maybe I just want to change up a style a little bit. My daughter, for instance, had French braids the other day and I went all the way down with the braids, but for a new, more refreshed style, I undid some of the bottom part of the braids and just put it like in a little scrunchy ponytail. And then I used my easy detangling brush to just kind of refresh the curls and make them look really nice and neat. So that's the easy detangling brush. I also have my much loved, you can't even see it anymore, this is the Denman brush. And um, this is amazing. This is specifically made for curly girls or curly boys. Um, you'll hear me say girls a lot because I have four daughters, I didn't have any sons. Um, so this is really good. I wouldn't, like I said, don't brush hair on a daily basis, but when you need it, this is one of my go-tos. Um, definitely a wide tooth comb is essential. I started with this one, but I found this Paul Mitchell Pro Styling Tool, I think it's called. And it's like, you would think every wide tooth comb is the same, but they are not made equally. I really love this one here. All right, so a couple other things. I really don't need two rat tail combs, right? But I do have them in here in just in case my little toddler runs off with one. Um, however, this one's kind of not very safe for children. Make sure only adults have access to this one because it actually has this um, metal tip, very pointy, but it, it's like so amazing to make straight lines. Like this is decent, it works, but if you want like perfectly straight lines, this thing is just, it's amazing. All right, and then also I'll use the fine tooth comb just to kind of straighten and get all the frizz flyaways, seal them down with my edge control, which I'll get to shortly. Um, also, I have just the basic black little ponytails and then I've got the colored ones over here. These are so good. I spent years finding colored rubber bands that wouldn't snap like within two hours and I found this brand, Amelia. Um, just really, really good stuff and they do make the black ones too. Um, these I think I got at Walmart but that brand has the, has the black ones as well. All right, so I also on a daily basis, I might need one of these cool things. These are actually, I don't know exactly what they're called. They're to remove rubber bands. So, um, yeah, it doesn't say on here. Um, yeah, so if I'm just pulling out rubber bands, it's so quick and easy, because if a child has like 20 different rubber bands, maybe you did a rubber band style. This is like super fast. You just slide the rubber band in and it's got this really sharp blade that cuts that rubber band up. So yeah, scissors work, but I found out I was like always getting hair product on my scissors 
and this is like super fast it's got this nice really sharp point um, but some parents have complained that they've cut their child's hair and it will cut your child's hair so make sure you only grab the rubber band when you're using this tool um, some other things that I might need on a daily basis is just your regular butterfly clip or if you're styling or doing something get the hair out of the way and pull it aside while you're doing braids or something I also have just like accessories because you know once you get on day three four of hair you probably want to add a clip to put the frizz away um so just cute accessory things i always have scrunchies i've got scrunchies all over the house these are satin i think i bought them in a bag of maybe like 30 so i've got different colors that can match different outfits but i just keep a few in this box um so i know i went over the easy detangling brush but if you know me and you're on my channel or my Instagram, you know the Tangle Teaser is my favorite. Um, if you're not on my Instagram, then I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go over there. I give a lot of different tips that are some same, some different on my YouTube channel. Um, but you can get more daily content on my Instagram. All right, so this is the Tangle Teaser. And again, don't detangle on a daily basis. Don't use a brush on a daily basis. But this is like a lifesaver. It's a game changer. Everybody I've recommended it to is like, wow, that single teaser is a game changer. All right, so products that I might need on a daily basis. Now I have a, like a whole linen closet full of products, but if I had to choose <laughs> what products I'm gonna use on a daily basis, this is what I've got. And I changed this, I changed this out. So these are not like my must have products, but, um, I've got four girls, so I go through these quickly and then I'll just change out what I'm using. And I'm always testing out new products for you guys just so you can see and look and see how it's applied and how it works for my kids' curly hair. Now, right now, I have this product, the Molly Moisture. This is the Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. This is really good. It's more of a heavy product, so you don't need much if your child has like really fine hair. Um, but if they have thicker hair, you definitely need, need a heavier cream or butter. So if I am using this product, um, definitely make sure you include water. So just remember when you're hydrating hair, you need the product plus water. Make sure you're getting both to hydrate curls. I mean, curls really need water and to help with that water retention, you need like the product to really seal it and work it in. All right, so now we're onto my water Mr. Spray bottle. It has like this really nice continuous spray. That's why I love it so much. Um, it's not like just squirting one hair strand directly. It kind of gives this all over the hair spray. Now this actually has like a mixture of one of the leave-ins and um, I think a lighter leave-in spray. Um, so I'll usually mix it up, use warm water, especially if your child has low porosity hair, use warm water to be able to open up those hair strands to be able to accept the product. And then you can leave a mixture in for a few days, but after that you really wanna cleanse the bottle so you don't get any bacteria or mold or anything growing inside here. Um, all right, so the leave-in that I have right now in my box is the As I Am leave-in conditioner. This stuff is really good. It smells really good. Um, let me see what they've got in it. Coconut, sugar beetroot, green tea, lemon, apple, sugar cane, all yummy, yummy good stuff. So that's why it smells, it smells so good. All right, after that, I've got the Shine and Jam, this is really good for doing little braids or twists just to really keep that frizz down and in the style. You want to apply this stuff here. Also, you can use it as an edge control or you can use one of my favorites here, the um, Cream of Nature with Argan Oil. This is the perfect edges. So this is really, really heavy duty stuff. And then, although I have an edger brush somewhere, this is just a makeup brush. Like you, you don't have to actually invest tons of money in these products. You can even use a toothbrush. I got all this hair stuck in here. Um, but this is what I'm using right now, just to put down the edges with this heavier edge cream. Um, and other than that, I've just got more 
like little clips and then the ball ponytail depending on what color my child is wearing for the day i might switch out the like the style and the accessories to match their outfit so um yeah these are my go-to products this is my everyday box this is how i organize my everyday box now if you guys are interested in how i organize my entire closet or under my sink which probably isn't very organized right now if you want to see that let me know in the comments below but other than that this is this has been a lifesaver i've been using this for probably like two or three years you can see my kids have like colored in it and everything um it's lasted it hasn't broken and i use it every single day so let me know in the comments what you guys are using to organize your products if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up to let the youtube algorithm know and it will help other people out that need to organize their curly hair products and thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe click on the notification bell so you'll be notified for all of our future videos love you guys enjoy this beautiful day take care bye bye <laughs>